Hello, Chris Kiak here. Here are three things that have made me a lot of money using Tekla structures. The first one is I learned how to manually model anything. I watch a lot of new people getting started with Tekla and they are way too dependent on components or connections and they blow tons of time searching for a component that's gonna do the thing that they need to do uh, or they waste 15, 20 minutes trying to fiddle with all the options in a connection versus just explode it, manually manipulate and model it knowing how to use cuts and uh, fittings and all of the different part types and manipulating things in the model. If you can do that, you can do anything. The second thing I would say is basically learning how to properly control the drawing editor and setting up drawings and object level settings and filters. It takes a little bit to get through the hump, but uh, if you can set up your erection drawings and the filters and everything the way that you want to, then you're gonna be in good shape. A little part B to that is don't overthink and try to perfect all the dimensioning settings. In the 20 years I've been using Tekla, I have gone through heavily the integrated dimensioning settings and the filter-based rules multiple times. And each time I go, yep, now I know why I use as much of the out-of-the-box settings as possible because Tekla has tried to localize and set those settings up to your region and your environment as best as possible. I would suggest to detailers and fabricators, just try to go along with what Tekla gives you as much as possible versus trying to force things and figure it out you're gonna burn a lot of time. But good erection drawing filters and object level settings, that's made me a lot of money. The third thing, which has made me the most money, is really learning how to customize Tekla. This means learning the template editor to build reports, charts, bill of materials, templates, anything I need to, custom components is next. Man, if you can make your own parametric uh, components and connections, you're making money. But one piece of advice with custom components, don't make things parametric that don't need to be. Only make the stuff that you need to be parametric. There's a ROI, a return on investment on how much time you spend fiddling around and messing with the component uh, versus what you need to get the captured return of making certain things parametric versus not. So don't overthink that. Now the last, of course, thing that's really made me the money is of course I, I learned the Tecla API and I got on the bandwagon very early and uh, I can do I can make Tecla pretty much do anything. Um, and what's awesome is that the Tecla API is pretty clear. It's uh, pretty easy to follow. It is mature on both the model and the drawing API. And so, you know, if you can get through that hump, you can pretty much make Tecla do anything uh, once you learn the API. But don't start with the most complex thing ever. Learn some basic tools like doing external apps and macros and then move into things like plugins. And then I would say learn the drawing API last because you can't do anything with the drawing API if you don't understand how the model API works and scanning through work planes and changing uh, work planes and things like that. Um, so those are the three big things. Learn how to manually model anything, then learn how to set up your drawings, and then third, learn how to customize Tecla.